Hello friends, good morning and welcome to Dave's Skillet. Today, today's menu, shashuka for one. Now I've made shashuka before, but not for one. So this will be um, different. This is going to be my breakfast. So I put in uh, two tabs of butter. It's like a teaspoon, I guess. About a tablespoon of olive oil. <coughs> Ingredients are going to be a tomato sauce, stewed tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, and one egg. So I've already sliced up the onion or the, the mushroom and the onion. Once this gets going, um, we'll put the onions on top of it. I've used one small onion, although I'm thinking maybe I should have added more. Your call. If you like onions, and I do, and add add the amount you like. I hear it. It's all good. We're going to put some salt on this to bring out the water. Speed up the cooking process a little bit. Oh. And some pepper. You can use a cast iron if you want, or any large skillet. I'm just using this one here because the stove is kind of having a bad day. So I'll use this. And also I'm going to use one tablespoon of tomato paste. That's just to give it that extra flavor. I don't have any garlic except for powdered garlic and powdered onion. I will be using those. I don't have the other. I meant to get some the other day, but I forgot. I had quite a lot on my head, and yeah, I forget things. I'm also going to use a little paprika. Okay. That's the garlic. And I guess this is a new onion. Okay. I think that's really I can put some onion on there. As soon as the onion becomes translucent, I can put the sauces in. <coughs> A little bit of paste can go in now.
think this is only going to take a few minutes. Once we bring it up to a simmer and we put the egg in it, it won't take long after that. Always put the sauce first and start going with the liquids. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing that, Dave? Because I want to get all the sauce out of that can. Every bit that I can get out of it, I want out of it. Yep. See it? See that? It's near empty. That's how you roll there. Now, see. I got to get some other spices going here. So I'm going to put a lid on what I got so I don't splash myself all over the place. Whew. Because I already am, I'm splashing my my cheats over here, my notes, and I'm like, I don't need these anyway. This is from a, a previous. This is Dean Martin's favorite pasta fagoli, and which you can go to and see on my list of recipes on YouTube. So there's that. This one was, oh, this was how to make uh, soup, powdered soup, no, yeah, powdered soup, that's on the recipe list too, okay, so, now, we're already sidetracked, <laughs> <coughs> flakes, ground paprika, crushed red pepper, oh. actually I don't need to open that one, this one's open, yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the parsley flakes in now. I need to put some more, but this is going too high, so I'm going to lower it down to 200. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This is the parsley. Ground paprika. you like paprika a lot of it these are my uh, crushed red peppers this is optional and put down what you like if you don't like it hot go light or stay home now I gotta stir that in and get my spoon Big spoon. Okay. You could even put um, whole tomatoes. You could do whole tomatoes on it as well. But I'm doing this one in a hurry today. I can get my breakfast because I'm hungry. I'm only just out of bed. That's my egg. I already cracked it in there so it'll be easy for me to put in the shashuka. We'll be back in about five minutes. 
And now for the side star of the dish. I know you were thinking it was the egg, right? You gotta have something with it. Bread. A good French loaf, a baguette, something on those lines. You can even make some garlic toast or buy that frozen stuff. That would be good too. I think about 40 is a good. Cut me four slices, put them in my toaster oven. <coughs> So that's a good one. I need a plate. I'm going to get like a bullish style plate because it's liquid. Liquidy. It's time to put the egg in. I'm going to go dead center with it, make a little divot. In goes the egg. Close that down. Pretty good. Gonna be a winner. I'll put the ingredients below the video so you can see what I've put in it. Gonna be pretty much the same ingredients I used when I made uh, the shashuka last time. And um, I know some of them I didn't use because I don't have. So, yeah, that was Chicago. And I had all the ingredients then. <laughs> I think I'm missing quite a few. But that's all right. It still tastes good. And uh, if you went the Italian way with it, I put some Italian seasoning in there. Yeah, okay. It's going to be good. But that's what I forgot to put in was the Italian seasoning, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Ah! Ugh. We'll get it. We'll get it. There we are. I knew there was something I missed. Well. In any of it. Mm, that smells good. I've lowered it down to 200 to finish up. I'll keep the lid on. That'll help um, cook the egg. And when the egg is done, it's done. I'm breaking out the Irish butter for the toast. Got a real thin, I think one pad on each one will be enough. Oops, <laughs> I can get it to stay on the toast. That's the thing, okay. I went for a bowl so I wouldn't make a big sloppy mess of my toast because it's going to be more like a dipping sauce than anything else so I'll do it that way you do the way you want to do. However you like to serve yours up. Totally your choice. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. It's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Showtime. So we can turn this off.
really going to like the mushrooms and the stewed tomatoes together. That's going to be really good. And then the onions in the background. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. so on and so on you can showcase the star of the show right there probably. so shashuka oh my gosh mm, I need a knife oh yeah spread the butter just a little bit I love this Irish butter, Kerrygold, oh my gosh. It's pretty, pretty much the only one I really like to eat is that one. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hundred percent the best. Doesn't get any better. Mm -mm -mm. I get some mushroom and some onion. I gotta be careful because it's really hot. Mm. Mm. I'd stay here and eat the whole thing right in front of you, but that's rude. So I'm gonna say goodbye now. Like and subscribe down below, if, please, if you would. And, uh, gosh, we'll make another one soon. Bon appetit, my friends.